Gail began to deal with this in very gracious mm -hmm. ways as you would expect her and to. And she probably thought of everybody else. Yes, exactly what situation. she did. In fact, she thought about her children and grandchildren, and so she wanted to write letters to them yeah. to be given to them after her death, which meant that she dictated and I typed, because at this point, the strokes had affected her hands and they really were not working, and her sight was really taken from her by the strokes. So she dictated a letter to our, our two daughters, one each and one to our son-in-law, and a letter to our grandchildren. Mm. And I gave them those letters about six weeks after her death. And then she said, I need to write one to you. I said, well, that's rather difficult since I'm the one taking the <laughs> dictation, you know. Uh, I said, besides, what are you going to say to me you haven't said every day for the last 40 years anyway? She said, perhaps you're right. I said, but just for argument's sake, what would you say to me if you were to write a letter? She said, well, first I'd say no regrets. Mm -hmm. And she was speaking of our marriage. And we've had a fabulous marriage, but believe it or not, there are a few things I've done wrong through the years. I can hardly imagine Yeah, it. yeah, I imagine. <laughs> and she was saying to me, there are no regrets over, she yeah. knew I would beat myself up over that. Yeah. She said, no regrets. We're good. We've made amends for everything. You and I have had a fabulous life, no regrets. That was number one. Number two, she said, uh, live our life. Mm -hmm. To me, that meant faith family, mm -hmm. ministry. ministry. That's what we lived. Yeah. And so that's what I endeavor to live. And it may look different as we move forward. You know, I may remarry. There may be other things going on. But that's still my life. Yes. Mm -hmm.